hello hello long time no see absent on youtube for about a year sorry guys but i'm back um i have been posting videos very very frequently on tiktok if you didn't already know um but i'm back with a bang because i'm at malvern antique and flea market and this is the biggest in the uk i'm so excited because we've been here a couple of times already um i've been here about six times but i haven't been in a good couple of months and this is the last one of the year so i thought what better way um to come back onto the youtube scene than vlogging it so I'm really excited. I'm so excited because I know that there's going to be so much amazing stuff to find. I'm here with my mum and my dad. They're having a little coffee um, and a little sandwich before we go in. We know the drill by now. We bring our own little picnic. Um, so let's go. Hello. <laughs> The trusty charity shop tote bag is coming with us today. Um, it, goes it goes everywhere with me. No matter what the season, I bought this from a charity shop for about four quid and I've taken it pretty much everywhere with me since for about two years. go back a lot here we're just going to devise a plan on how to tackle this That's spotted this Burberry trench coat um, it's kind of similar to the one I've got on now which I also bought from here but this one's got like a woolen lining in it's going for 250 and it doesn't have the belt isn't the matching colour. Can you believe I bought mine from here a couple of years ago for 50 quid and that one was selling for 250. I got a bargain there. There is lots of outdoor garden stuff as well if you're into that kind of thing. If you need some outdoor ornaments, there's also a lot of indoor furniture as well. Um, obviously all antique and vintage, um, but it's a great place to come if you're furnishing a new property or something. <laughs> That's really different. Have a look. That one's got the original powder in. I do quite like that one. Though. I, like I think that that's one. really different, and I quite like the size of it too. It's a Stratton. Mm. I like. I love this one. Remember, I bought that exact jewellery box in the smaller size. I got it from a car boot for £10 and that larger one was £35, but still really cool. I absolutely love that. Oh, it's fallen off. I absolutely love that nighty, but it's really small and there's no stretch in it. Otherwise, she'd be coming home with me. Cute. They are as a set as well. I also just got those. Well, Mom spotted them. Those three cherubs. They've got little hooks on the back. They were ten pounds for the three, which is a really good price. Oh my god, this mirror is so pretty. Look at that detail. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. There is so much here. Gosh. Must be Victorian or something. Gosh, is that the trousers or a skirt? It might be a skirt. Just 
seen a lady carrying um, like a pair of 60s platforms. Oh my God, these shoes are beautiful. Chunky heel, massive platform in like a tan leather. I wanted to swipe them out of her hands. They were so nice. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's the name of the game. It's the way it rolls, but they were so nice. Look at that tiny coat and matching beret. That would be what I would choose to dress my child in, or just me. <laughs> Somebody out there would rock this jacket, I know. It's all coming in, the like racer leather jackets, they're really nice. That's stunning. That's quite cute. If that had long sleeves, I'd love that. Wow, look at all of that. There's a cross there, Mum. We've just stopped for a little coffee break, or in my case, a little hot chocolate. We managed to find somewhere to sit down, which is quite a feat when um, it's this busy. But we've done most of outside. I picked up a few things. A few things. I've been quite good with like seeing things and not buying them straight away. Um, I have definitely noticed that there's like a lack of clothes outside. Last time I've been, there's been loads and loads of clothing items, but this time um, there's not that many outside. So let's see how different it'll be when we go indoors because usually they have a lot of the um, like clothing and a lot of jewelry inside. Fingers crossed, we'll see. So all of that is the inside area, and I think there's another two of those further down. Um, but I'm just exploring the outside, the last of the outside area. Find to get so far. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. You said it was different though, didn't you, to what we've been? Yeah, it just seems a bit more brick and brocky than normal. The clothes, I want some very clothes. Very nice, nice people. Yeah. Friendly community. Yeah. <laughs> This headband for a pound. It was quite cute. Very cheap bag. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so old. Um, 65 pounds. It's beautiful. It's a letter rack here for 25. That would look lovely on a desk. And I love that frame, obviously, because it's gold. <laughs> about to go into the other big big inside area which is mostly jewelry so, and like other bits so let's see One, yeah, you've got no, it was this one, I think. Yeah, that one. Thank you, but it's too small. Rest in peace. Isn't that stunning? So heavy as well. Like you were saying, like you oh, fantastic. fantastic. If, I wish my waist was that small. <laughs> <laughs> it's teeny weeny. Oh, yeah. yeah. That all happened very quickly. Um, I've got two bags, two big bags from inside um, the inside areas. I have walked away with two coats and another fond thing. Um, <laughs> the lady whose stall it was gave me a bundle deal on a few items. Um, and now we've we've left <laughs> because it's getting to the closing time anyway. But 
I've got a good haul coming guys. Hello, it's me. <laughs> I am back home now, but as I was editing the footage for the vlog, I realized I didn't really do a very good job of showing you the bits that I bought. So I thought I'd do a little sit down segment at the end and talk you through everything I bought, do a mini haul, as opposed to it being in a different video. So you don't have to wait. I'm just here right now filming it for you. It is so funny talking to a camera because I haven't done it sit down style in about a year um, and since then I've moved to Bath um, and I'm just yeah I feel like I'm in a completely different phase of my life but I'm really excited to be you know coming back to YouTube because I used to love making these videos so much. Um, the main difference you may or may not be able to tell um, is the quality. I'm currently filming on my boyfriend's Sony um, and the great thing about this very expensive camera is that it has a flip screen so I can see the viewfinder instead of having to like wing it the whole time on my Canon which is what I used to do so this is pretty good although my eyesight is so terrible I can't actually tell most of the time if I'm in focus but I am great the first thing you saw in the vlog that I bought is this gorgeous compact mirror I absolutely love this um, and I do have a compact mirror collection approaching maybe about 12 or 13 because it's really the first vintage item I started collecting when I was getting into antiques and everything like that when I was about 17 um, so I do have a few of them and I've got lots of different designs from like the 20s through to like the 70s I think some have enamel some have like hand painting but I've got to say one thing I do love is just a good plain brass mirror and obviously the big one is the quality of the inside it's beautiful it is in like stunning condition I'll insert a clip so you can see it in closer detail but what I do love about this is that the inside is actually functional as well and I've been racking my brain with what I can put in here one of the comments I get the most on TikTok is how do you get your lipstick to stay on all day <laughs> um, and the very simple answer to that is just by carrying a compact mirror with me everywhere I go checking touching up and making sure that it's all intact and I just think it's a really beautiful accessory the lady originally when I was uh, looking at this said that she wanted £10 for it and I did the classic like hmm I'll have to think about it and I walked away <laughs> Um, and just as I was walking away, she said, oh, I can do eight pounds. And I thought, I can do eight pounds. Eight pounds is a good deal for me. Next up, you also saw in the vlog, um, but they are very delicately wrapped in some uh, bubble wrap. They are these gorgeous little cherubs, but these are so beautiful. I'm such a fan. I'm obsessed with anything cherub related. I think it's because I love like the Renaissance so much. These were £10 for the three, which I think is a really good price. It's unique little homeware items like this that I always keep an eye out because I really do think that they can make a room. Back you go in your little bubble wrap bed. So the final three items that I bought, I got from the same seller um, on the same stall. And I was trying all these bits and pieces on and I'll show you the two clothing items that I got after. But this was a little thing that I saw on their stall and she kind of put it all into a bundle deal for me. I am a sucker for anything with gold on, you know that about me. But I also really like stationery um, and vintage stationery is like, chef's kiss. I have no idea what this originally was, whether it was for a corporation. It says Marchino, M-A-R-C-H-I-N-O, Via Moda, Marchino Via Moda Roma, Italy. So obviously it reminds me of Moschino, the brand, but I, I don't think they're related, but I do think it's really, really cute. And with the bundle deal, this worked out at about five pounds. It's real leather. I really like it because of the detail on the front. And if I'm honest, <laughs> the reason I picked this up initially is because I'm looking at investing in an iPad um, and getting a little Apple Pencil with it to help me with my social media. Um, and just because my best friend bought one and I really like it and I really want one for myself. <laughs> but I thought this would be such a good iPad case because it kind of folds out. Look at that. But you could put the iPad in this section here. Obviously I put kind of like a slightly tougher case on it as well, but it would slip in there quite nicely. And you know, it's just cute, it's just extra. So moving on to our final clothing items. Um, again, from the same store. They're pretty chunky, I had to have two bags. <laughs> this is a real leather, full length. Very similar um, style to my Burberry trench coat but in leather. I think it's going to be one of those slightly heavier weight but staple coats um, 
and you can't go wrong with a, with a leather coat, can you really? And they're so in at the moment. With both of these, unfortunately, there wasn't a mirror for me to try them on with, so I kind of had to go off of my mom taking pictures of me and her kind of opinion on how it fit. And I'll tell you how much this was, or this worked out at once I've shown you the other coat, because they're just bargains, just bargains to be had. This next one. Now listen, when I saw it on the rack after I tried on the leather one, I thought it was a faux fur coat, as you'd imagine, right? So I went to put my arms in the sleeves and I just couldn't find the sleeve. I was like, this is really weird. Turns out it is in fact a faux fur cape. I've always wanted a cape, controversially, but I've never found one that I thought was wearable or I didn't feel too twee in and again because there wasn't a full length mirror this was a big risk but I will insert a photo here that my mum took at the fair and I thought you know what it's really cute and even if it has its moment once or twice in the season of winter it'll be worth it because it's definitely a very unusual piece and um, the lining is absolutely like in perfect nick um, and it's from a brand called Tissavel. I think it's gonna, I'm just gonna put it on, why not? I think it's gonna have its time. Do you know what I mean? Because I just think it's so glam. But like, <laughs> you can see the armholes. Fur is such a vintage staple and it just glamorizes any outfit. So I'm really excited to wear this. This and the leather coat, the lady sold to me for 40 pounds. So that works out at 20 pounds each, quick maths. Obviously I got the um, lovely folder as well, so overall it was £45 for those three items and I'm so happy, um, I really think I've done well there. And those three items also I kind of came across in the last, well it was the last half an hour really that we were there. I've just remembered, I haven't showed you the headband that I also bought, which is this one. I did show this briefly in the vlog, I got this for a pound and I have I have a few headbands, but I don't really wear them much. But this one, I haven't taken off since I got back from the flea. There's something about it, whether it's kind of just the hint of gold on the top, it's not too much. I've got a lot of headbands with big embellishments on, but I think this is more of an everyday little number. But yeah, a quid, and I love it. But that's everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please do share any comments you have down below. If you are interested in going to Malvern Flea Market yourself, please do, it's amazing. I'll probably see you there next year. Like I said in the vlog, it is the last one of the year, but they are starting up again in January. The flea market itself runs nine times a year and they do have other locations around the UK, I believe. So definitely check out their website. I will link it below. Also, please do feel free to leave some video recommendations down below if you want some more in-depth videos, something that I haven't done on my TikTok, or even something I have done but you want more than a three minute video about it, then please do let me know in the comments below. You can find me on Instagram, at The Vanity Case, and also more recently on TikTok, also at The Vanity Case, but I think a lot of you have probably done the pilgrimage from TikTok to my YouTube, so thanks so much for watching, I hope you all have a lovely week and I'll see you soon. Bye.